Hi, I'm Phil from PrepRS. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I want to show you five of the most scary canes I can find from our huge um, collection. Um, please watch the others, like firing a Victorian shotgun cane and four sinister canes. And there's two more in production, killer canes, assassin's canes. They're all worth a, a watch and they're all from the 1800s. They're all antique from all over the world. Many are from London, but you'll see in a few moments that they're from all over the world. Uh, now, they're all scary for different reasons and I will show you one at a time uh, what we have here. So thanks for joining us and let's get on, shall we? Right, let me show you the first cane. This is a French cane. In actual fact, the figure on it, the face on it, which I'll show you close up in a moment, is a chap called Dante. He was a priest in the 1500s. Dante, that's him. He was a priest from the 1500s. An Italian priest. But look at his face. You can see why he's got a face um, scouring like that. This is a dagger cane. It's a lethal dagger cane. So Dante goes back there. Now the next cane I want to show you is a very strange one indeed. It's a basic walking cane, probably British, but it's got skulls all over it. I'll show you a close-up. If you look very carefully, there's a skull facing every direction on this cane even to the back. Who was so freaked out that they needed the protection of these skulls? Is it a witchcraft thing? Is it a voodoo thing? I honestly don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. And there's another very interesting point. All of the skulls are facing slightly with their heads to all their skulls towards the, the right hand side, every one of them. This was intentional. What on earth is this all about? So that's the skull cane. Now my next cane frightens the heck out of me, I can tell you that. And I'll show you why. This is a headmaster's cane. And it had one job. And that was to whip the fingers of the children. It seems barbaric today. But they say a good headmaster could catch your fingers on the way down and the hand on the way back. It scares the heck out of me, I can tell you. Now this fella is scary because he's scary. He doesn't do anything, there's no sword in him or poison or anything like that, but he's just scary. And this is the most exciting cane I've got to show you today because it's Zulu, it's genuine Zulu and if you think of Rourke's Drift and all the battles that the British had with the Zulu warriors in, in um, 1887, if I'm correct, um, this was captured and brought back to Britain by a British officer. So I'm very, very proud to have it in my collection. It's beautifully wound with copper, which was no doubt bought or traded from the Portuguese that were making copper and, and brassware in the region at the time. But it's a very, very beautiful cane. But I have to say that thinking of the history and thinking of this tribal chieftain standing on the hill watching on at Rock's Drift frightens the heck out of me. This is the most frightening one I've got today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We've got lots of other videos, many on canes. Um, so please subscribe and, and enjoy watching them all. Thanks very much. Goodbye.